Welcome to Cabin Master Software. Today we're going to talk about special cutouts. So I'm going to select a floor standard for this, open it up. I just want to go straight to options, open the doors, because we're going to do things inside the cupboard in this case. Go to machining. Um, we're going to go view. Let's go view the end left. End left, we view the end left. We go to special cutouts. Now there's a few things we can do. There's five you can uh, special cutouts per cabinet. So I want to select that one, the first one. Which part? These are different parts inside this cupboard that are available. So we're in the end left. I want to do a rectangle. Now slots, circles, and slots are no longer really required because you can do everything you can you want with a rectangle because you can actually radius it and things like that. So you can actually do what you want with a rectangle. So it's the most um, th the best one to use. This is a layer. You can change this layer to anything you like, so you can call it cutout 2 or you can call it whatever you like. But be aware if you change the layer, you need to map the layer in Easy Nest or it won't come through. One of the things we can now do is we can do a through, through or we can actually specify depth. I'm just going, to do, going to do a through cutout in this one. Let's do a radius of 20mm on our part. Let's say it's 150mm wide, 100mm high. You can see it's starting up in this top corner now. We're going to start in the top left. So we're now in the top left of the part. These here confuse people sometimes. What it is, is x-axis, which is uh, left to right, and y is up and down. A fraction. So you can go from 0 to 1 in a fraction. So if I go 0 0.5, that is smack bang in the middle of this x-axis. If I go fraction in y of 0.5, that's going to be smack bang. So 0 0.5x and 0.5y is smack bang in the middle of the part. You can take this a quarter of the way through. You, you don't, if you don't want to use fractions, you can leave that there and say, come down by 150 mil. So, and that 150 mil comes from the center of this part here. So not from the edge, but from the, from the center line of the actual part. So you can also mix them together. So if we go 0.5 plus 150 or minus 150 mil, so we're 150 mil up from the center line of this part, of this part, up to the center of this, radius here. So that one there, if we go to 3D, we will now see this. So when we go to 3D, you can now see that cutout is right here, and you can see all the way through. That's exactly what we've drawn up. So that's quite happily in there. So we open the cupboard up again. So that's the part we've just made. We can add in more cutouts per part. You can choose, say, five cutouts per cabinet. So if we choose the end left again, you can choose any part that you like. And you can just go back to view and change the part you want to look at. But we're going to put in another rectangle. Um, this time we're going to go, no, I want to go only 8 millimeters deep. I want to have a 20 mil radius. It's going to be 200 mil wide and 40 mil high. Which means we're going to have a circle at either end. Uh, which corner do you want to start in? I start in top left, it's just easy. But I'm going to go 0.5 and say 0.75, so three quarters of the way down. So I've now got this slot. Now if I made this 40 mil long, I now have a circle. It's 40 mil by 40 mil with a 20 mil radius in each corner. So that gives you an exact circle. But you can also make slots and things like that. This is why the, the slot option isn't really required. Um, so anyway, there, there it is into there. If we now go back to 3D again, you can now see it it's not on that side, it's definitely on that side. So you can see it in there. If I go to hidden view, you can clearly see it's definitely in there, but it's not on that side. So you can quite happily do things like that as well. So it's very easy to do cutout slots. You can do the, actually one thing that's really exciting. I'm going to go back and do one more of these. This time I'm going to do same part again. Um, let's do another rectangle. This one's going to go through. Let's do a 50 mil radius on 100 mil. Let's actually do a, a circle, 100 by 100. But what I'm going to do this time is start in the yeah, top left. That's the very front. We've got the edging on the front of the part. I want to leave it, put it down to here. Actually, I'm going to make it about 0.25. We'll put it halfway up. And we'll come in uh, X. We come across another 25 mil. I've now got this slot through here, so if we back, go back to 3D again, so you can now see when you come back here, 
we've now got this slot all the way through here. So you can do these cutouts as well. But when you do it onto a border, it actually joins it as part of the border. That's what's so exciting. It actually makes the border as one piece. So you can see the one there with our depth. That's cut through, that one's cut through. But you can specify the depth of those things, which is really cool. So thank you very much for listening. This has been Special Cutouts in CAD Master Software.